Welcome to my video review of the Edifier R2000 dB home speaker system. This has an amplified speaker section in it as well as a passive speaker which attaches to it. One of the main attractions of this is the Bluetooth but you also have two RCA inputs and an optical input too. There it is a remote supplied and it has a DSP digital signal processor. Quick glance at the specifications give you the output of the speaker. Notice we have a 5 inch bass driver or woofer and a 25 millimeter tweeter. Combined weight is just under 10 kilograms. The included instructions are quite clear and provides all the information you need to set up the speakers. The diagrams are also quite good too, so no complaints on this front. Included in the kit is a cleaning cloth. You also have two of the auxiliary inputs, one of which has a three and a half millimeter jack and the other one has the twin RCA as well depending on what you are connecting it to. We also have an uh, optical cable and all of the connectors on this are gold plated. The supplied remote is in a glossy black finish similar to the size of the speakers. You'll also notice that you have lettering on there which is a bit dim. It's grey rather than white which makes it a bit harder to see in low light but you can control the source and the volume as well as put it in standby and mute too. This is powered via a CR2025 lithium cell. The supplied cable is a nice thick one. It's also a good length at three meters. This has DIN connectors on both sides. Here I'm showing you the speakers. One of them has the grill taken off and one is left on. I quite like the look both ways. It's quite a nice attractive design and they're nice and compact. I've listed the size and the weight of each speaker. You'll notice a slight difference in the weight is due to one having the amplifier built into it. Looking at the tweeter now, you'll see the pins either side and the two below that. That's for attaching the front grills. There's a sort of ripple effect on the wooden casing. This is the woofer down at the bottom. Below that we have a small circular area which has an LED indicator which I'll show you in a minute. That tells you which input source that you have. Moving in closer to the back panel here where the controls are, you'll see we have the power switch. There is the mains lead and the left speaker out DIN socket. This is an optical port, so you pull that protector out to insert the cable. And that's the two RCA line in ports here. Three knobs on here. That's the treble control. You'll notice that they have a fixed position where they hold the central point. So if you're reaching behind the speaker, you'll be able to feel when they're at zero. And we have a volume which also controls the input. If you push it down, it cycles through the various input modes. Simple design, works very well, even if you're not able to look at the rear of the speaker. Just a duct at the top here, base reflex design on this speaker. Side panels, all four of them are a glossy piano black finish. They look very nice, though no doubt are a bit prone to picking up fingerprints. On the other speaker, just one single input, no other controls on this. And at the bottom, we have four thick rubber pads to help absorb vibration. The LED indicator has three colors to show you which mode it's in for input. The green is the auxiliary, the red is the optical, and blue is Bluetooth.
Hopefully the recordings will give you some idea of the sound of the speaker. It's never as obvious as being next to them in person, but I used a fairly decent stereo microphone for the recordings. A couple of points with the speakers. I like the design. The sound output is very good, both in the bass, mids and treble. It's not overdone in any area, but it has a nice, rich bass and quite perky treble. It's not too bright or hard or aggressive either. It's about the middle of the road in that regard. There is one area that I might change. It's the remote. I'd prefer a perhaps a larger standard one, which is easier to see in darker conditions. But in other areas, it's a very nice speaker system, which delivers a very good sound output.